Hello, this is Gio. Hey, look what we have here. Well, you know that old adage, accidents happen? Well, this piece of glass just broke. So, uh, this is a single pane uh, window here. And so it should be uh, fairly easy to replace, but we do have to get this piece of glass out of here. The only problem is it's pretty large. It is about 31 inches high and 44 inches wide. And we do have to break out all this other uh, glass as well. So uh, let's get started and we'll show you what we need. First of all, uh, there is a storm window on the other side of this glass here, which I do want to remove since it's probably worth more than uh, the replacement glass. Now this replacement glass, I've already kind of priced it out. It's going to be about $75, give or take. I'm going to have it cut at a uh, glass company and just pick it up. Uh, it's a little bit too big for me to cut. I would rather them just do it on their machines. It is about an eighth of an inch thick. so. Uh, and it's just standard plate glass. Okay, so what we'll need is, uh, other than the plate glass, we'll need some glazing. And this time I'm going to try glazing in a tube uh, rather than, let's say, a little drum where you can just scoop it out with a putty knife and apply the glazing. Now the glazing is what holds the uh, window in place. I'll give a better shot in a little bit. But basically, you see here the groove right here. Uh, you can see the glass right there and this material right here this is a, this is the wood and this is the glazing I'll show you on the other side it basically it holds the glass in place and dries really hard but before you apply the glazing you do need to hold the glass in place and you could get yourself some points there's a couple of different kinds of points I just got these standard points here uh, I also have some eyewear and putty knife to clean things up, some gloves, and I gotta bash out this glass, uh, this old glass. I'm just gonna use a rubber mallet. You could just use a hammer as well, but I think I'm gonna a little bit softer blow, and I'm probably gonna tape up the window a little bit with some uh, painter's tape just to help, just to prevent huge panes from falling down. I'm also gonna put some tarps down to keep things clean. But first things first, get rid of this storm window. And here you could see on the other side of the window how the glazing works. It's basically just a hardened material that holds in the window. And you can see it's kind of grooved in there where the window pane was. And it, you just kind of apply it either with a putty knife or in this case, I'll use a tube. Okay, so I think I got most of the glaze off. Now this is probably the hardest part of the process is getting this glaze off. And it will vary depending on the age of your glaze when it was done and just generally how well of a glaze it was. So uh, here I did uh, remove a little bit of wood while I was trying to remove this glaze. Uh, some of the glaze remains, but as long as I can get the window in and reglaze it, it should be fine. Now I did remeasure the window and it is exactly 44, well it's actually probably about 44 and an eighth inch wide and so I'll just go by 44 inches to give it a little fudge factor since I do have a lip here which uh, you don't want to be exact, you want to be a little bit in so you could adjust but you don't want it smaller than this lip right here and again that's the same as the height instead of 30 one inches, I'm gonna go with 31 and a 16th of an inch, so high. So hopefully that will give me a little bit of clearance. I have a little less fudge room since it's basically gonna be sitting here on the sill. And so the only fudge I have is this upper lip. So I put a little bit less and so I should probably have at least about an eighth of an inch lip here. Okay, so I got the cut plate glass and hopefully if I measured right, it should fit. And it looks 
like it does. And so you want to put a number of these little uh, points to temporarily secure the glass until the glaze cures. So we just tap them in. And then these will be hidden behind the glaze. Well, I'm done with the glazing. It could have gone a little bit better because of the irregular nature of the window frame. It was a little difficult to get it even, but I think it'll uh, work out pretty well. Uh, after about three days, we'll go ahead and paint this. So uh, you, a lot of the original uh, irregularities will kind of disappear after that. But hope this video helped you out, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.